All right, so when we're talking about ventilating our confined space environments uh, and we're dealing with a constricted opening where we only have enough room to get one piece of ductwork in, we want to make sure that that ductwork is going to an exhaust fan and that we're trying to extract the contaminants out. Uh, what can happen is uh, by using positive pressure ventilation there instead of negative pressure, we're going to create all of our exhaust coming out around that ductwork, making the area around our opening relatively unsafe to inhabit. We're going to have uh, uncontrolled release of that product coming out. So by using negative uh, pressure, we can draw the contaminant out, remembering to place the ductwork within the space in the area uh, of which we expect the product to be, uh, and then keep our blower motor away from the opening uh, so that we can exhaust that contaminant out of the area and uh, keep that area uh, safe to inhabit while we're working. When you're uh, electing or when you're trying to select the location of your ductwork, uh, you need to try to identify the product that's in the space. Uh, you may know this uh, by the competent person on the scene, or you may figure it out through, uh, through your recon operations uh, as you are air uh, initially monitoring the air in the space. If you're finding that your uh, contaminant is near the bottom, uh, you know that you're dealing with a contaminant that has a uh, vapor density that's greater than uh, one, or you can refer to your RGAS-D or specific gravity, depending on what your uh, hazards are, what kind of product you're dealing with. And then you'll know which area of the space that you're gonna have a problem, whether that is a heavier, a contaminant that's heavier than air, gonna be near the bottom, or whether it is a contaminant that's lighter than air and is gonna be near the top. And we wanna to go to wherever that product is with our ductwork and exhaust it out of that area and get it away from the space. All right, so if you've elected to use positive and negative pressure, maybe the opening in the space allows it or you've identified that that's the operation that you need to go into, again, we're gonna begin by identifying the contaminant that's in the space. So we're gonna to try to figure out what the R-gas D is of that item, uh, if it's going to be a contaminant that's lighter than air, and our contaminant is all gonna be in the top of the space, we are going to put our exhaust in the top of the space and draw that uh, contaminant out. We'll then piggyback our positive pressure system in there, dropping that ductwork to the bottom, which is gonna pressurize the lower areas and help push that contaminant out the top. We just wanna try to help the product do what it wants to do. If it wants to go to the top, we're gonna push it from underneath and help it go to the top. Conversely, if our contaminant is, under, is going to be low, we're going to put our ductwork to uh, vacuum or to uh, draw that contaminant out low, and then we'll put our positive pressure ductwork in high. Again, helping the product do what it wants to do, pressurize it towards the bottom where we can then use our negative pressure and draw the contaminant out. If you have a space that has multiple openings, for instance, this space behind me has a horizontal opening and then several vertical openings uh, on down the line, and you're able to pressurize that horizontal opening or the end of the pipe. We can open up those uh, exhaust points down the line, uh, those manhole covers, which is what these are here, uh, but we wanna make sure that we're doing that in a proper sequence. Just like when we positive pressure ventilate a house, we wanna open the areas that we wanna ventilate. So if we are opening those, uh, can, those manhole covers that are closest to our, our uh, pressurizing point or our uh, positive pressure fan, we're going to be unable to ventilate those areas farther down the line. Whereas if we open the furthest manhole cover that we can get to, we'll pressurize the entire space and push everything towards that manhole cover that's farthest down the line. So make sure that you're doing it uh, in that order. Another hazard of working too close is that if you open a manhole cover close to you, you can essentially uh, short circuit and blow those contaminants right back in particularly if you've not identified the wind direction. When you get into these ventilation operations, wind direction is a huge key. You wanna to try to use that to your advantage, make sure that you're keeping your people in a safe area and that you're getting all those contaminants away, getting them out of the scene where you don't have to deal with them anymore.